time to read a story with Nana. It's time to read a story with me. I'm really glad to be here, and I'm awfully glad to see you. It's time to read a story to you. Hi again. I'm glad to see you. I'm glad you're back. I'm glad to be here. The story I have for you today is about Winnie the Pooh. That's this guy right here. That's Pooh Bear. And all of his adventures have managed to almost always get him into some kind of trouble. But then he has a friend, a very good friend, and his friend's name is Christopher Robin. You may remember him from the other story that I read. So let's begin, okay? <clears throat> One day, while Pooh Bear was sitting outside of his house, and he had made himself a lovely fire, and he was just kind of sitting there enjoying the day, and he thought he heard a noise. So he listened and he listened again, and yes, he did. He heard a noise. And the noise he heard was of bees. He heard a buzzing noise above his head in the tree that he was sitting just in front of. And if you know nothing about bears, the one thing you have to know is they love honey. And Pooh Bear, being no exception, loves honey and he will do anything he can to get honey. So he looked again, and he was assured that, yep, those are bees, and where there's bees, there's honey. So guess what he decided to do next? That's right. He decided he was going to climb the tree. Now, as you can see, that's a very, very tall tree, but that didn't stop Pooh. He was sure there were bees, and he was also sure there was honey. So he climbed, and he climbed, and he climbed all the way to the top where you can see the bees. Can you see the bees there? Well, he sure did. And climbing so high, the limbs of the trees get narrower and shorter. And so when he stepped on the very next branch, the branch was too weak, and Pooh Bear, being a heavy bear, decided, uh-oh, here I go, and you guessed it, he fell. He started falling, and he bounced off one tree limb, and he bounced off another tree limb, and each time he said, oh, 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 until finally, after he bounced off the very, very last tree limb, he landed in a briar patch bush filled with prickles that were going to get in his back, as you can see. See the prickles in his back and on his nose? And so he spent a good deal of time trying to get those off of himself. And when he finally succeeded, he decided those bees are still up there and there's still honey up there. Now what can I do to get to that honey? Well, of course, he thought about his very, very best, best friend, Christopher Robin. And he went over to Christopher Robin's house, and Christopher Robin said, Hi, Pooh, how are you today? And he said, I'm just fine. And Christopher Robin said, What have you been up to? Anything special? And Pooh Bear said, well, as a matter of fact, I was he I'm here because I'm hoping you'll be able to help me. And Christopher Robin said, of course I'll help you. I'm your friend. That's what friends do. We help each other. What can I do? Well, Pooh Bear decided that <clears throat> if Christopher Robin had a balloon, he might be able to blow up the balloon and float up to where the bees were on Christopher Robin's balloon. Well, sure enough, Christopher Robin had been to a party a few days before, and he said to Pooh Bear, as a matter of fact, I have two balloons. One is green and one is blue. And whatever one you would like, you're certainly welcome to use. 
So he and Christopher Robin had a little discussion, and they decided that a green balloon, the bees might think he was part of the tree and let him float up and see what was going on and where the honey could be. Then they thought <clears throat> maybe the blue balloon, the bees would think he was the sky and they wouldn't be afraid and they wouldn't be intimidated and he'd be able to get the honey from the bees. And then Pooh Bear had a great idea. He said, I'll get all dirty in the mud and then I'll, they'll think that I'm a gray cloud hanging below the sky. What do you think? And Christopher Robin said, well, it's your idea and I'm here to help you, so let's go. What color do you want? Well, Pooh Bear said, I would like a blue balloon, if you don't mind. And Christopher Robin said, that's absolutely perfect. And he started blowing up the blue balloon that was going to trick the bees into thinking that it was part of the sky. And then Pooh Bear went about to get himself all dirty in the mud so the bird the bees would be tricked into thinking he was a dark cloud hanging above the balloon the, of the sky. Well, that certainly made sense to the both of them, and so they set about bringing the whole thing together, and they did. So, Christopher Robin helped Pooh with the balloon, and up, 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 Pooh Bear floated with the bees and they didn't bother him and they didn't seem to be noticing that he was there and so he floated higher and higher and higher and then he yelled down to Christopher Robin he said Christopher Robin and Christopher Robin said yes he said I have the feeling these aren't honeybees I think perhaps they may be just regular bees and that there's no honey. And Christopher Robin said, well, 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 what do you want to do? And he said, well, maybe if you got an umbrella and walked around and said, oh my goodness, it's going to rain. And maybe they would think I was still a dark cloud under the blue balloon, which is the sky. <clears throat> they would believe that I'm just nobody to bother with them or their honey. So Christopher Robin said, well, I'll go home real quick and I will see if I have an umbrella, but I'll be right back. You just wait right there. And Pooh Bear thought to himself, well, there's really nothing much more I can do but wait right here. And so he did. And within a pr pretty short period of time, Christopher Robin came back with a very big umbrella and kept saying, tisk, 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 I think it's going to rain. And now here I am with my umbrella to protect me from the rain. And he looked up and asked Pooh Bear, did he think it was working? And Pooh Bear said, well, as a matter of fact, it, it, it seems to me that perhaps these really aren't honeybees and they're really very, very angry and very, very suspicious. So I, I think I have to get out of here, Christopher. Can you help me do that? And he said, well, well what do you want me to do? And Pooh Bear said, do you have your pop gun? You know your pop gun? And Christopher Robin said, well, yes, I sure do, but I'm going to have to run home and get it. So just wait for me. I'll be right back. And again, Pooh Bear thought, there's nothing else I can do. I just have to wait here. And sure enough, within a short period of time, hanging on and hanging on, waiting and waiting, Christopher Robin came back and shot the balloon. And of course, he missed initially, and then he hit the balloon, and it caused the balloon to very slowly lose air and gently deposit Pooh Bear onto the ground. Well, 
who was very, very grateful. And he said to, uh, said to Christopher Robin, I'm so glad you're my friend and you helped me out. And Christopher Robin said, I hope I didn't hit you when I first tried to bring down the balloon. And Pooh Bear said, no, you, you didn't hurt me. You kind of missed, and then you missed the balloon. But now you finally hit the balloon, and here I am safely on the ground. I am so grateful. You're such a good friend. Thank you very much. And Christopher Robin said, well, I'm kind of dirty and tired after all of this. And look at you, for heaven's sake. You're so full of mud and dirt, and you must be tired and dirty too. So how about you come home with me and we'll take a nice bath? What do you think of that? And Pooh Bear thought, wow. What a great idea. And so before long, he and Christopher Robin went back to Christopher Robin's house, and there they are, Christopher Robin in the tub, getting himself nice and clean, and after having washed off Pooh Bear, who was very, very dirty. It was a great idea, but there was absolutely no way they were going to fool those bees. They were a lot smarter than Pooh Bear and his very best friend, Christopher Robin. Plus, there wasn't any honey. But you know, as I said before, if you don't know anything about bears, you have to know that bears love honey. And that's pretty much the story about Pooh and his desire for honey. I don't know if there'll be other stories about honey, but there certainly are a lot of other stories about him and Piglet and Eeyore and all kinds of rabbit, which you saw in the first story. So stay tuned, come back again, and I'll be very happy to read you another story either about Pooh Bear or an another adventure. Remember Davy? and the lighthouse. Yep. So come on back. I'll be looking for you. And in the meantime, take good care. Goodbye for now.